everyone. Hi. Hey, everyone. Hi, Hi Brian. And Brian's friends. And Brian's Yay. friends. Hey, I'm Colton Gableman. This here is my buddy, Lloyd Cunningham, and you guys all know Brian. Uh, a long time ago, we decided to make a band called Pieces of Frank. Now, you may be wondering why Pieces of Frank got together. Well, one time, we all dropped a lot of acid. And the lab instructor got really upset with us for dropping all the acid, so we had to clean it up and neutralize it with a bass. And then Brian, Brian picked up the bass, and we started a band. So this, so first this song, is the first song we wrote. This is the first song we ever yeah. wrote, which is why it involves two chord. In fact, two chords. In fact, 90% of our songs involve two chords. <laughs> so uh, we're just we're just gonna take this and roll with it. We wrote this for a project, kinda. And and, uh, and we would like you to take this all as figuratively as possible. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna want to heed that warning. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Everybody's talking about the fact that I'm in your pants, I'm in your pants, I'm in your pants. Holy crap, I'm in your pants, in your pants. I'm pretty sure that I'm in your pants. I'm pretty sure that I'm in your pants. Everybody's talking about the fact that I'm in your pants, I'm in your pants, I'm in your pants. Not your jeans, I'm in your pants, in your pants. I'm pretty sure. in your pants and ad nauseum, but you know, this isn't exactly a crowd pleaser, so we'll move on to the next one. Okay, this is another early song that we wrote. I'm going to hold a guitar, but I'm not actually going to play it. That's, that's the plot twist here. Uh, and also, note the intricacy of the drums in this song. Please do. It's important. You have to pay attention. You might get confused otherwise. Um, this song, this song is about a creature that will grant your wish, but only if you can see it. It's called Invisible Gene. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Girl, he would be Genie Genie if he were not nice. He would be the Meanie Genie if his last name was Todd. He would be the Sweeney Genie if he were Little Bitty. He would be the Teeny Genie if he liked Italian food. He would be the Linguini Genie if he liked alcoholic beverages. He'd be the Martini Genie if he were a dictator. He'd be the Mussolini Genie. And if he liked zucchini, he'd be the Zucchini Genie. What the? <laughs> and that was a song. Uh, okay, this next song is dedicated to our keyboardist, Rick, who is not with us. He, he perished in a fatal moving to Michigan accident. Yeah, it's, it's just not the same without him, but we're going to play it anyway in his honor. Okay, you have to get over here. Oh, I do have to get over here. This is actually Brian's vocal debut. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to crouch to use this mic because Nikki's short. <laughs> hey! <laughs> there we go. Guitar. Yeah, Not bass. Guitar. Guitar. Okay. Is it. You start. <laughs> the 
Rick would play a sweet synth solo. It was awesome. It was so cool. You're gonna have to imagine it, but it was great. <laughs> okay. okay. Next is soup. Yeah. All right. We're gonna be doing a quick instrumental change. Okay. Let's hear it for you who like to eat soup. Woo! Anyone? Yeah. Anyone? All right. Yeah. Three it's people. A... All right. All right. Well, this is a song for you about soup, and we actually feature uh, a Mr. Brian Schnedler on the drums. Yeah, and we feature Mr. Lloyd Cunningham on the vocals, and I'm still playing guitar over here. Judging from the looks of horror on some of your faces every time one of us opens our mouths, we're going to do something that's instrumental. <laughs> this is actually a, an instrumental, uh, more chill version of the last song we played. Uh, it was originally done on acoustic guitar. It's entitled Supifid Acousticastico. 
But the you first, just call it Stoop Acoustic. The first song was Stoopiphany, Stoopiphany Acousticastico. It's the logical transition. We are good at logic. We are so good at logic. We are pretty much the kings of logic. Pretty much. Why aren't we called the, king, uh, the kings of logic? Because kings of Leon already have the rights to the first part of the name. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a lesson in how to solo badly on the E string. <laughs> you can learn about the B string for 25 bucks. <laughs> yeah. I think that's all we got. No? No. 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 It's a G string. <laughs> oh, okay. So it looks like we're going to need Joseph because these guys are making me sing Tom Sawyer even though I don't want to. <laughs> He's good at it though. Kinda. Good at it. Joseph! Go, oh, Joseph! Lord, make it come out!
always hopeful yet discontent. He knows changes aren't permanent. Product of looking at the lyrics twice beforehand. I'm moving up in the world.